Greetings, dear gamers. Spadakus here and welcome back to 840, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 41 days gone, 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 gone. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so happy. Oh, wait, that's because I'm so fucking stupid. My eyes have been opened, Colonel Matt's carrot. Wants to talk to us again. Uh, but that's going to be during almost night, so uh, I would like to wait before we do that. Um, even though it's going to get dark Colonel, very soon, yes, anyways. See me? Corporal. Yes. yes hey, Colonel. Captain Curry says that you've been helpful dealing with marauders in the area. Of course. Just doing my duty, sir. Always. A curious group of drifters have been spotted moving down Highway 97. Highway to hell? they came over the Tielsen Pass, which I thought to be impassable. Our patrol reported that they were scarred. The letters R.I.P. carved into their foreheads. Have you ever heard of anything like this? No, sir. It sounds like sounds like another cult, like uh, the anarchists. Perhaps. Regardless, I want you to track them down and deal with them. We have enough to deal with. I don't need another cult springing up in our backyard. No, sir. Last thing we need is another crazy cult. I've marked their last known position on your map. Dismissed, Corporal. Thank you, Colonel. All the way down fucking there. What the fuck? Oh, no. oh, Jesus. Did I destroy all the camps around here? Yeah, I did. So that's the whole thing here. I need to find the camps around here and another camp somewhere. Oh, who knows where the camp here is? It could be everywhere. I need to find it. Um, now my question is, how are we going to do this? It's all shit, actually. Uh, you know what? Let's go to our bike. Let's go see Captain Curry. Hey there. Nothing. Shut up. <laughs> Deacon, are you there? Deacon and Sarah need to talk to you. Uh, yeah, hey, I'm here. You sound kind of cheerful. I've had a breakthrough. Look, all I needed was that DNA sequence, sir. I'm ready to test it. Deacon, I'm ready to test my serum. Wow. Okay, um... What do you need from me? I'll tell you when you get here. Sarah, out. Sure. <clears throat> Damn it. <laughs> uh, shit. Captain Cory. Cory Mori. All right. I, just, I, I, I don't know, guys. I could have just fast traveled over Captain Cory, but I gotta say, I still like it to drive around with the bike. It's just, it's freedom, people. Freedom. It's just like, you know, when you drive. Great. When you when you ride around on your horse and Red Dead Redemption, it also feels like freedom. Assassin's Creed doesn't manage to portray that freedom on that horse. They da they don't because they focus on oh go there go check out these question marks. Just it's a checklist, all right. This one here also has sort of a checklist, but you need to drive around more and it's, it's just. I gotta give it that. Freedom. Oh, you idiots, you burned down the goddamn fuel station. Goddamn bastards. <clears throat> but has this, oh, maybe the fuel station down there has also a lot of uh, gas down there. Patrol. And, um, hmm. That's why they get so much. There we are. Corporal. Deacon. Good. Thank you for reporting in so quickly. It sounded urgent, sir. It is. We have another hostage situation. Hostage? Damn, it seems like every squatter within a dozen miles has it in for us, or for the militia. You know, I mean. It does seem that way. I've marked his last known position on your map. 
He's just a kid, St. John. Private Ross. Ethan. I sent him to track down a group of marauders, and he must have gotten in over his head. Private Ross. I don't know him, but uh, I'll get him out alive, Captain. Good luck, St. John. Dismissed. I'm dismissed. You're dismissed. Hey, um, there was a, there was some talk about why is the FPS so low around here right now? It's really dri dropping all the time. What can I get for you? Um, there was talk about the promotion when I got that. When when do I get the promotion, please? I'd like to have that. That's also not too bad. But let's keep this one here. Oh, okay. That's I remember. Because that's the storyline of our wife. Alright, so that is over, over there. Yeah, the one that's really. The really wants to go I got the gate. to that highway now, huh? Yes, they do. Hmm. Like the FPS right now is really dropping down. And it's not so fluent at the moment here. I don't know what the problem is. I really don't know what the problem is. Like, look at that. Like that. Bitch. That's a fast way to get down the hill. <laughs> Come on. Man, really? That was seven minutes? Jesus. The time flies in this game, that's for sure. Captain Mad Carrot has something to say. Let him speak. I like those um, experience points. <laughs> this day, as the sun sets on this island, it also sets on the life of a great man. Captain Arturo Jimenez, dark to many of you, is gone. Taken from us on the eve of our great victory. Captain Jimenez was murdered, slaughtered, his life ripped from him. His blood, even now, soaks the tent where he toiled, hour after hour, tending our sick. Our injured, our wounded. The great tragedy here is not that a good man needlessly lost his life. Though for that I am indeed very sorry. The great tragedy here is that he could not be replaced. Dr. Jimenez was the only trained physician in our ranks. Perhaps in all the world. My eyes have been opened. I see now the great mistake we have made. We have filled our ark with books and seeds and discs. Medical journals, medical books and encyclopedia we have in spades. But who now, when this terrible war is over, will teach us how to use them? Journals can be replaced. Books and encyclopedia can be replaced. Dr. Jimenez, our only doctor, cannot be replaced. I go now to grieve in silence. I suggest you do the same. Company dismissed. All right, so <clears throat> I'm getting more and more of the. Nazi vibe here. I mean, it's not just the armbands. That's nothing Nazi specific. But then you get this guy. 
with a mustache. And then he's now, like, right now he was so overreacting giving this speech, giving all these hand gestures. All right. Let's just see. Oh, well, that's going. Sarah! Are we doing the day? Oh, damn it. I wanted to do that. Shit. Whatever. Hold up. You want one alive? Oh, kind of hard to run tests on something dead. Here. What, what is that? It's a special tranquilizer. It'll help you knock it out long enough so you can bring it back here. I'm so close, Deacon. This could be it. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, you're sure that Colonel is okay with that? Deacon, come in. Hey, I was just heading out to find you a nude. Great. Okay, there's a specific one that I need, all right? Well, wait, hold on for a second. A specific nude? South of here, just off Rim Drive, is an old resort cabin. It's now home to an entire colony of infected kids. Nudes. Okay. Okay, so radio me when you get there. Sarah, out. This bridge is awesome. Colony of newts. Oh my god, this I gotta see. St. John, report. Hey, Captain. I'm on a run for Lieutenant Whitaker, so I'm kind of busy at the moment. Understood. Report to me when you're finished. We're ready to test Weaver's weapon. Hurry out. Oh, shit. Oh, so much for Sarah beating Weaver to the finish line. Uh, you don't need to beat them. <clears throat> it's always good to have a plan B and Sir, a plan C. Here. All right, you're looking for a young female wearing a red shirt. One of those kids' shirts that says, like, Teensy Tabby or something. I'm surprised the colonel hasn't burned this place out yet. I told Matt the site was hands off. I've been running blood tests on several of the youngest ones for months. I need them for the serum. Okay, uh, how am I supposed to get the one that you want without killing the rest? Look, I don't know, just, just do what you have to do, okay? I need the female wearing the red shirt. Another bounty. Is that the red shirt? Yes, it is. Damn it. There she is. Hey, I got it, isn't it? Hello? I shot. I shot her. I think the game is bugging out on us here. Is that her? Yeah. Okay. Got you, little shit. Jesus. Jesus. <clears throat> Let's play baseball. <laughs> Don't kill the little girl. Home fucking run. 
<laughs> this is so bad, man. This is so bad. A little kid. Shit. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> now I also have to give the game that I, I don't know. Honestly, not one game comes to mind where you kill kids. Not even one like infected zombie kids. Well, sometimes here and there, like once or twice, because of the story or something, a crazy kid or something. But other than that, just roaming around. Not that I think it's not that often. <laughs> and it's not that bloody in general. That brutal. Clubbing them down <laughs> or headshotting them. <laughs> Not bad. Use ranged weapons to keep your distance from large groups of enemies. Fucking hell, these tips are just amazing. Just amazing. Use ranged weapons to keep range. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Uh, hey, Captain, uh, pistol over my bike. Uh, yeah, the Colonel doesn't allow for pets on the island, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, Lieutenant needed a live test subject. Uh, you two seem to be getting along well. You and Lieutenant Whitaker? Just doing my job, sir. You know, keep it professional, Corporal. The Colonel doesn't allow for fraternization between enlisted men and officers. Oh, no, no. It <laughs> Can't have any of that, sir. Right. Carry on. Yes, sir. <coughs> well, the colonel also doesn't allow for rings and personal positions, but um, yeah, there you go. With my fucking stupid mongrel ring. That stupid ugly thing. That stupid ring is so ugly, just as ugly as those freaks. Freaks. Come on, help me! Come on! So much for the trick, Yeah, well, the biologist's kind of fucked right now. What do you want me to do? I can't get the right dosage. Here, hold on, hold on. This is what I've been working on. How long? Oh, hold on, just a few seconds. What you put in that. That shit went down fast. Damn it! But you you're, you're not making a bioweapon. You're. Oh my god, are you, are you. Are you trying to cure it? I thought that once I got the original cell line from Cloverdale that I could create antibodies for the virus, and I could reverse engineer it. Jesus. And now all of that work, everything that I have worked on is for nothing. I can't save them. Nothing's gonna be able to change them back. So get up, dust yourself off, try again. Were you not seeing what just happened? Every cell in that kid's body just exploded. That's exactly why you can't quit. What? Because you called it a kid. Do you have any idea how many of these things that I've killed? And it never once occurred to me, you know what, that used to be someone's kid. You know, I met this girl once. And she used to talk about the freakers the same way you do. She used to call them sick people. I thought that was crazy, but she looks at them the same way you do. So you think I'm crazy? No, no. I think you're the first sane person I've seen in two years. 
You know, I still remember the night that I lost you, but I'm starting to realize it wasn't the night that I had left you on that chopper. It was the next night. Me and Boozer, we rode into that refugee camp that you were supposed to be waiting at, right? Except there's freakers everywhere. The choppers are on fire. There's people screaming, so many people. And so we fought, and we won, and what did we get? Bodies. Bodies everywhere. And I checked every corpse, every face. There must have been a thousand of them, maybe more. I checked every single one. That was the night that I lost you. And Boozer... Boozer, you know, he's, he's just, he was just trying to keep me together for the next two years. But I didn't give a shit about any of it. And then I see this Nero chopper flying around in the sky, and I start to feel something. I'm thinking, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Because even if she is alive, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to find her. We're going to ride away. We're never going to look back. Because I don't want to be part of some militia. I don't want to fight no war, and I don't want to live in some camp. So why are you still here? Because of you. All of this, seeing how hard you work, seeing how dedicated you are. Most people out there are just trying to survive, and here you are. Trying to save the goddamn world. Yeah, well, I'm not doing a very good job. So you get up, you dust yourself off, and you try again. We're going back to Cloverdale. They got better equipment. We're going to dig into their research deeper. Do that. You would help me. Yeah, I would. I would because you believe in this. Don't give up. We'll ride north. Yeah, we'll ride north. We'll, we'll tell them that we're going on a supply run. Yeah, but we're not coming back. No, we're gonna go AWOL. You know if they catch us, they will hang us. Then we hang together. Ma'am? <clears throat> yeah? Deke, Colonel wants to see you. Be right there. Pack up what you need, I'll be back. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Corporal St. John. Colonel, sir. Come with me, please. Okay. Let's just ready? sing that no, in. Sir. Yes, sir. That shit is locked and loaded. Oh, bike's already loaded, sir. I'm not sure if I understand. Lieutenant Weaver's weapon is finished. We're ready to test it. Hell yeah. Are you ready to burn down a horde? Oh. Something wrong, Corporal? No, sir. No, no, no. Um. Hell yeah. Let's get this done. All right. How you talking, man? Gentlemen, this is the start of a new era. Carry on. Lieutenant Weaver, with me. Yes, sir. All right. I'm still wondering how they want to... Now they want to continue the research outside if they don't have, you know, the backup of the militia because that she has uh, the possibility to do the research with, with the militia at the back to help her out, to keep her safe, to do the research because it's a bit tough to do research when, you know, um, all the shit's going down. So going AWOL doesn't really seem like a good idea. All right. I figured that I think we should... you should stay up here and let me do this alone. 
What the fuck? You got a death wish? No. That's why I think I should go in alone. Look, even with Weaver's jacked up Molotovs, we can't take an entire horde all at once. No. So, uh... I figure I go down there. I get their attention. I pull off a few at a time, and then I run like hell. And I gotta find some way to slow them down, maybe set a few traps. And then I blow them to hell. Look, two of us running around down there. It's gonna be chaos. We'll just pull the horde down on each other. No, you stay up here. You keep an eye on me. If shit goes south, you ride in there, you get me the hell out. Hmm? Unless you got a better plan. I got nothing. <laughs> Got more Molotovs, ammo, and my saddlebags. Good, good. Uh, shit's gonna come in handy. What did you drop? Uh huh. Napalm Molotov. Growler, and polystyrene. Proximity bombs and remote bombs. All right. We've finally taken down our first real horde. Where is it? Somewhere down there. We can use it. We can use the bike for that. Oh, hello. I'll take that. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Did you take it? Tough to say. Uh, run in and die. Down, run in and die. Pump up, climb all over each other. If I can find a narrow space between trucks, buildings, whatever, it'll take them a while to get through. And once I get some space between me and them, they'll blow them the hell up. You got it. Rinse, repeat uh, a few times. No more horde. That's your plan. Oh, that's my plan. Good luck, St. John. Fox got nothing to do with it. All right, I'm heading in. I see you. Let me know if you need my help. Okay. <laughs> so that um, that's our way out. <clears throat> Just in case we need it. You know, way out. Oxygen tanks. These would blow up pretty good. Yes, they would. They wouldn't need. Hmm. Yeah, we need to look around here. <clears throat> what we can do with that. Oh, an Eric. <laughs> sure thing. Can you hear the horde? we got here now I'm gonna tell you guys we're not gonna attack the hood today it's gonna be in the next episode uh, all I do today is now I'm going to look around see what we can use to fight these bitches now that's all like explodable things so all usable stuff all usable stuff Of course, you place remote bombs. 
Don't throw them. Also, some explosives here, here, and there. So this, it's also ready to use. All right, you run through here, let them come for you, then you run the other way, and so on. So wait a second. <clears throat> we run in here. Boom. Keep on running. Yeah, exactly. Let them come. Boom. Keep on running. Yes, exactly. Let them come. Boom. Keep on running. Let them come. Boom. That's a good one over here. That is a very, very good spot over here. Does the time move on? It's already four o'clock. Then we have some over here to boom, boom. Also over here, boom, boom. Then we can somehow, yeah. They go get over here, run away. Um, proximity bomb. Do we trigger pro proximity bombs? I just wonder right now if we trigger proximity bombs our own. I mean, it would make sense if it would. Can quick save, huh? I mean, I would just jump up over here, place a bomb up here. That'll do it. Hmm. Yeah, time is running out. Okay. okay. The next one would be. Well, we're gonna lead read lead them over here too. One in here. Another one here. <clears throat> and another one here. We're gonna tank over here too, which we can use. And then we have one tank over here too. Can of fuel. Which you can use too. Which will drop here. And then that's gonna be it. Alright, let's see if we can see something else around here. Some other places to fuck with them. getting morning soon so we need to hurry up okay this is gonna help us out where is it there it is this is going to help us out over here to run away from them then we also have some explosives in here which is nice very nice very epic Look at the plenty over here. We're gonna use the attractor bump. First. Hmm. What else do we have here? That did it. And 
What's the point of this house? Oh, no real point here. Okay. Okay. Can I go somewhere up this house? That would be great. Don't think I can. That's a problem. I could go up here. Somehow. Hmm. Can I get up there somehow? I don't think I can. And then there's some over there too. Let's go, oh shit, no, 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 no. Shit, 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 shit. No, 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 no. Oh shit. Ah, oh, shit. That didn't go down as planned. Um, okay. <clears throat> we could restart at the checkpoint. We're not gonna. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, <laughs> we'll see how that will go down in the next episode. Um, as expected, I, I, I really, I expect, I almost expected this. I was, I should, I should probably not go further. They're gonna see me. I said, nah, they're not gonna see me. They're not gonna... Yeah, someone saw me. And um, now they're on to us. Shit. Not too good. Um, we'll have to see how that will <laughs> go down now. I'm pretty sure we're going to die at least once or 15 times. So <laughs> see you next episode, guys. Goodbye.